Yahoo! Hello, Kaylee Shiji Kailan. My name is Kaylee, that's what I'm called. And welcome to the baking class. This is the intro video to give you a little bit of an overview on what you can expect in the coming weeks. So this class is a great place to come and learn new recipes, maybe some tips, what have you and a great way to practice your baking skills, whether you're a beginner or you've been doing it for some time. We're going to go a little bit over measurements and some useful tips in this video, and the next video and the coming videos will all be recipe videos, and accompanying the recipe videos will be to nine a word videos that will show you a Denina word that you can use in your baking, and you'll also be able to hear it being said. For measuring, we'll go over some of the basics. This spoon is called a tablespoon, and we also have a teaspoon measure here, and there's also like a half teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon, a half tablespoon, but the big spoon measurements are a teaspoon and a tablespoon. It takes three teaspoons to equal one tablespoon, and it takes 16 tablespoons to equal one cup, and that's of dry measurement. Liquid measurement is done in ounces, and it takes about, here we see, eight ounces for one cup. Flour. You would scoop the flour into the measuring cup, then level it off with the back of a butter knife. That way it's not super compact and pressed down. Crisco or vegetable shortening, because it doesn't have to be Crisco. You take your measuring cup and press down the Crisco, making it compact. It pushes all the air bubbles out. That way you'll get more accurate amounts. Remember to level the top off. I like to use cup, these kind of cup measures. And you just you'll pour the liquid until it reaches the line for the measurement amount that you need. For brown sugar, you would take it into your cup, and pour, 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 or scoop, scoop, scoop. Then you pack it down tight and level it to the rim. It has the consistency of wet sand, so when you dump it out, it may hold the shape of the cup that you use to measure. Say you need to measure ground cinnamon, baking powder, or another spoon amount. You'll scoop or Pour the spice into the spoon, and then you'll level it off with the back of a knife. Some useful tips. You're going to always, always, always want to keep your hands clean. You don't want any of the possible germs from your body or your skin or whatever you've touched besides food to contaminate the food you're making, even if you're going to cook it at high temps. It's just better safe than sorry. You'll want to prep or ready all of your ingredients before you start baking, this helps you make sure that you have the exact amounts that you need. There's almost nothing worse than getting everything and thinking you have enough and just to find out you're missing like baking soda or another important ingredient. You'll want to use your oven mitts and you should clean up as you're going along. You don't want to leave a mess. So this here, you just want to put it back when you're all done with it and you can close it off and then that way you've completely just cleaned up it after you're done baking or making food it just saves yourself in the long run once you've put something into the oven you want to just leave it last tip is to follow the recipe as it is you may be able to make a substitution here or there but you really want to stick to the exact measurements and the recipe as it follows there's a saying that Cooking is an art form, but baking is a science, and I believe that's true because you need the right amount for baking, otherwise it's going to kind of flop completely. Whereas cooking, you can kind of like, it's giveable, you know. That's the intro video. I would love to hear back from you. Um, so please email me, I'll leave my email attached. But I'd love to hear what your experience is with baking, whether you're a novice or a beginner, or you've been baking for some time, and if this is something you're interested in. And then 
What's your favorite baked food? It can be something that you bake or something that you go and buy. Chickenick, thank you. Ko'oha, goodbye. Shaida, my friends.